Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Um, okay, so today we're doing this LOL doll over here. It's a color splatter LOL doll. So I don't think it's a real one, um, but I think they took an LOL doll and did the color splatter, which I thought was really cool. It's like a new trend that I'm seeing a lot in the crafting um, forums. The other day I did do Queen Bee, and I do highly recommend you watching that video only because I did it a little bit differently because we did do it at 30 inches, but this black in her dress is part of the um, overall background. And so I wanted to make sure I changed up the process that I normally do because I wanted to make sure that even at 30 inches, you would not see any seams in the black because I thought that that would really... Um, be distracting and detract from the actual like cute doll itself and so we were able to do this at 30 inches with no seams in this skirt area dress area um so i do want you to check that out but i just put this up there so that you could see what it looks like um i do want to show you really quickly where i got that file so um it's at cool svg Dot com and so here's the lol splatter one they have a few other ones um this is the one that we also did um but from an svg file there's only a handful this is a png file which would be good to get if you wanted to do a cake topper because for a cake topper um i do recommend doing print and cut so okay just wanted to show you where that is okay um let's delete this one let's make her at 30 inches let me move myself over. So I normally just type in the height at 30. And because this file is locked, which you can tell up here, it has the lock. I'll unlock it so you can see what it looks like. So unlock, it shows that, it, you know, the little thing is unlocked. Um, just click on it to change it from lock and unlock. If it's unlocked and you change it to 30 inches, the width will automatically adjust proportionately. So you only need to change one. Um, I do like to zoom out, so I'm going to change this to 25% just so that I'm not scrolling up and down to, to work with this file. So, okay, so at 30 inches, I like this file because it's really bright, really cute, um, and I also think that we could easily make it seamless. So this is at 30 inches. I think we'll be fine. It's probably going to have at most one inch in total seams, and it's going to be in the black areas, which is so thin and just on the outlines because everything else lays on top of it and it will be just super cute. Um, all right, so let's ungroup this and start taking apart this file. Um, the first thing that I see is the blue. And in looking at the blue, I'm just going to zoom in for a second and see what we have. So the blue looks like, I mean, this is one piece here, and then it has, this is, okay, so this is going to be in a few pieces because of the bow, and this as well, and then this little piece. So this is 12.6 by 11.9, so we can't cut it as is. What I would do is bring in a square, and let's slice out this piece so that we don't have all this excess, because right now, well, one, we can't cut it like this, but um, we'll need to slice it out. So this covers this piece. Grab the two items and slice. It would help if I hit it. <laughs> okay, so we don't need the slice results, right? But now look, this piece is apart from this. Now let's look at this. This is 12.6 by 7 by 8 inches. So we can't technically right now cut it as is, but if we did this, can, well, maybe it's not going to work. I was going to say we could maybe rotate this a little bit to make it work, but I don't think I can. Let's see. Almost. So as we're rotating it, I don't think it's going to work. Okay, I can't. So we are going to need to break this up. So this is, we could break this up into sections. So this is, we'll keep this bow together, this part of the bow, one, two, three, and then four. Okay. So when we do that, because this is so close together, we won't be able to slice it out. It would be really hard to slice it. So you'll need four copies of this. So grab this. Um, here's our second copy, third, and fourth. So this one's highlighted. Let's go to contour. And basically, we're contouring out things, okay? So for instance, I'm going to select this. We don't want 
that in there. We don't want this in here. It's kind of hard to do it from over here. Um, I find that it's sometimes it's okay to click on it and that works. And sometimes I just, for the life of me, cannot select the right items. So like right now, I want to try to get this piece there. I finally got it. Um, let's see what this looks like. So I was able to slice contour it out. So this is now seven by six. Not bad. So we can cut that. It's pretty efficient. This is pretty close. I was originally going to have this piece by itself, but I think we're okay. All right. So let's go and contour out the rest of it. So I'm going to click hide all and see what that has. Okay. So we don't need this because that was already in. Let's, and we need this piece. So let's work with that. So this is 11 by three. We're good there. Now we just need the right hand side. So let's contour and let's hide all. We want this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. Oops, <laughs> I left the headband on. So let's contour, make sure we click on this to deselect it. And there, now our headband, all our blue right now, we can delete this. All of our blues are now within the um, correct sizing requirements, right? So this is 5.5 by six. This one is 11 by three, so we're good. Let's zoom out and go back and pick the next color. So here's our yellow. Now our yellow is all over the place, right? Um, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's bring in a square because we know we're going to be slicing a little bit. And I'm just going to move it over here so that we have a little bit more space. Now with the yellow, I was looking at the laces. I would probably want to connect the laces so that the lace is all one piece. And I would do that by bringing in a circle and I'm going to zoom in even more so that we can really see what, what this is all about. Um, so you see how here it's almost touching. I would duplicate my circles a few times. Let's make this really small, <clears throat> smaller than that even. Okay. And let's put it right here and this way it's going to connect and we can duplicate that and let's put it <clears throat> if there are any parts that feel a little thin like this right here feels a little bit thin we can make it thicker by doing this and let's duplicate that and let's keep adding oh shoot i wanted to grab the circle okay here we go let's put it up here and i'm just gonna weld this for now just so that you can see what that looks like okay I don't think that it will change our image at all, but it'll be nice that this isn't in like 20 pieces. When we pick up the yellow, the yellow is all going to be connected and it's going to make our lives so much easier. So let's make this smaller and let's continue to do all of those. Make it a little bit smaller. Let's grab, well, oh, there we go. Let's grab our circle. Let's put it here, duplicate it. Let's, let's just work on our laces, duplicate that. And you see how this is so thick? We can either choose to connect it or leave it unconnected. And the reason is because it will connect on this side, so it will still be all one, um, one gigantic piece of yellow. So it's up to you if you, I feel like it might distract it too much because it is too far apart. So I'm gonna leave it like that, but I'm gonna connect the rest of this. And let's see, that looks, that was already connected, but I'm going to make it just stronger. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to leave that open because I feel like that's too big. Everything else looks good there. So I'm just going to grab all of this and let's weld it and change it back to yellow. Okay, so I just want you to take a peek at this. I don't think that you're going to notice because at 30 inches, this portion is, let's see, one, two, three, about three and a half, four inches long. So like this much. 
Um, I don't think people are going to notice that this is what the laces look like in comparison to this. But this would have been one, two, three, four, five pieces. So it would have been 10 instead of two pieces, right? Um, okay, so you want to do that on this side as well. But right now, I'm just going to show you how to slice this apart into pieces. So let's slice out. And you can make this really big or however to fit it. So I'm slicing out the laces right here. So grab those two, slice, and we can get rid of that. But see now this piece is by itself. So it was, oh, I was close, three and a half inches, one, 1. 1.7 by three and a half inches. Um, let's bring in another square. And you can make this one bigger. And let's get rid of this dot for now, okay. I'm gonna get this little piece out by itself. So I'm gonna grab it like this, slice. Okay, I'm gonna use the same piece and do the rest of the lace. And you see how I'm not, like I'm in a lot of traffic, but as long as my cursor is only picking up two images, which is the yellow and the square, I can slice. I don't have to worry about these pieces hanging out right here. So delete that, we have that. Let's see what else can we, um, I'll keep this together for now, but I'll make this bigger to make sure that I get this. Oops, maybe a little bit smaller. Okay, there, oops, there. All right, so I'm gonna grab this right here and slice. So you can see there's a lot of traffic right here. I sliced out something right in the middle of it. As long as my cursor is only picking up those two items, then I'm good. And as long as my square only covers that piece of yellow that I want. So I'm using this old one, right? But I'm gonna slice out this over here. So I'm gonna, oops. But you see how that's in the cut piece? So you don't want that. You wanna move it over here. And then I'm gonna grab these two items and slice. So it's, I love this slicing tool. You gotta to get used to it. So we have this, we still have the top part. What's up here? Okay, so let's bring in a new square. And on this one, you know, I might wanna break this up right here like this. So I can turn it a little bit like that, make sure that I have everything covered over here. And I'm gonna grab it from here, slice, and there. So now this piece is by itself. Um, I can get this middle piece. Okay. And then come up here, grab these two items and slice. Now, if your slicing option is not is grayed out, that means you picked up more than two items. It is always a user error, I promise you. <laughs> okay, so we have two more pieces. Let's grab this. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way for a little bit. All right, so that's in there. I'm gonna grab these two, slice. And that should do it for the yellow. Let's zoom out so we can see the yellow. We don't need this. And we have this. Oh, and good, this is nine by three, so we don't even need to slice it at all. So this is good. This is good. These pieces are small, but it's part of the bow. I'm gonna leave it as is, okay? All right, so here's our yellow. Our yellow is all done. Let's go back and pick the next color. So you can see, we're just gonna do this one by one. So the blue, let's bring this over and see what we have with the blue. I just want some clean space so that you guys can see. All right, with our blue, I'm looking at the hair. Um, this looks like it's all one piece. So that's cool as long as we can get it to be, um, to fit on one piece of cardstock. So let's upload, oops, sorry, not upload, cancel. I wanna bring in a shape, bring in my square, and I'm gonna bring in a circle. It might be easier to bring in a circle to get this part. So I'm gonna unlock it and shape it so that, you know, it'd be easier to do this piece. I'm gonna get, hopefully I can get this piece of hair out. Okay. 
I don't think I can. So we might have to contour. So let's separate out the blue, the bottom part. So we'll do this. Let's get the dress out of the way. Oops. So I'm gonna grab that, slice. Okay, we got the dress. Let's get this little guy down here out of the way. All right, so now we have this piece. And we have this piece. And this is pretty efficient because this piece we can later drop in right here. And I'm gonna leave that as is. So let's look at this hair. This hair is technically three pieces. So duplicate, here's our third copy. So let's go to contour. Let's hide all, so that leaves this. But we want those little, hold on, let's show all for a second. Let's click on this, 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 this. What's left? Is it just that? I want this piece gone. <laughs> Where is that piece? Okay, there it is. Okay, so this leaves that. Okay, oh, I don't think I can do anything with this. So we're gonna, this is 13.5 by 11.5 ish. So I would probably slice this. Where would it make sense to slice this? I think it would make sense to slice it right here. So I'm gonna go to text and let's bring in I Love Glitter. So this is a font from dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. And I like this one because of the glyphs. So this is the square parentheses or the bracket. <laughs> Losing my mind. So when you so you can see that's the bracket. Let me make this bigger so you can see what I'm typing in. So it's the bracket. It gives you this, okay? And I like this because it has that little curve. So let's bring this over. Hold on. Let's zoom out for a second. Let's bring this. Oops, there's our pink. Where's my little glyph? There it is. Oh my gosh. I'm having a hard time. Okay. So I brought it over. Let's make this big so we can really see what we're working on. Okay, so here's our glyph. And it looks like it's about the right um, width. Um, so I'm gonna unlock it and I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, so it has that little natural curve. I'm gonna use that to slice this portion out. Or maybe, you know what? I'm gonna slice it right here, I feel like that would be easier. So let's unlock this a little bit. And I'm gonna bring in, uh, I lost my curve. It's like a little bit thick. Okay, that looks kind of good. Okay, so I'm gonna make it kind of fit in right here. Mm, I've really ruined that shape. But I think I can make it work. Okay, so I think that kind of fits in. So let's grab these two items and slice. Now we gotta be careful when we get rid of the slice results, okay? So we don't want this. Um, we don't want any of the black, but the blue, we want pieces of it. We don't want this, but we want this to stay connected, right? So let's click on the blue, let's go to contour. And what we don't want is I don't think we want this piece, but I think we want everything else. So let's go back out. Yeah. So you see how we got rid of this? Hold on. Uh, yes. 
So now this piece is by itself, but we want to grab all of this again though and weld it because we sliced off too much. So let's weld it and see, oh my gosh, that looks really good. So now we have this in two pieces. So let's, um, yeah, let's duplicate this and we're going to go to contour. So now we want to separate this. Yes, so look at this piece of hair. This is 10.3 by 6.6 .6 and it looks like it totally belongs, right? Like this cut right here, it looks very natural. So let's go to contour and let's now get rid of this side of the hair, get rid of that little piece. And look at, this is now 4.3 by 10.7. I love it. The hair is going to look seamless. So, so far, all of our colors are going to be seamless. And this is seamless too, because what we did was instead of making it a seam, we made it a deliberate cut. So it looks like the hair should have been in two pieces this whole time. No one would have known better. So let's zoom out. Um, okay, so hair is done. Oh, we don't need these. Um, Right, yeah, those are our two pieces. If you want that little piece, you can keep that. So let's go to contour, hide all, and we can save this piece. I'm not gonna save that piece, that piece is crazy small. Let's see how big this piece is. It's 0.6 by 0.8, so I mean, that's a sizable piece. It will go up here, so that's fine. Okay, so I think our blues are done. We need to do our pink. Now our pink, that hair looks like it's all one piece. Oh no, it's two pieces maybe. No, it's one. Okay, so you need to slice out all these pieces so that it's separated because this is 13.5 by 23.4. So obviously we can't cut as is, but I would separate the shoes. The shoes can be cut together, then the dress, then the hair. Um, same thing with the face. The thing that I did with the face on the other doll was, do you see the ear? I just put a circle in here so that I the ear became one piece, and so it was just easier to deal with. Um, and that's all for that. Let's see the eyes and the shoes. The shoes with the white, I might weld a piece right here so that instead of you have four pieces of white for the shoes, you only have two and it just, it's easy. And you can make it really, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. <clears throat> you can make it so that it's barely noticeable. So I'll do that here. Let's bring in the shape. And these are minor things, right? You can say, well, that's not that big of a deal and it isn't, but, at the end, when you're when you have like 50 pieces to put together, it really makes it easier when these two are already um, connected and you know exactly where it goes. So I would do something like this. So it's barely noticeable, but now it's two pieces instead of four. Um, the eyes, I would keep them together like that. That's fine because what I ended up doing is here. Let me show you. Okay, let's slice up this eye and then slice out this one. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of all my slice results. I just want to show you with the eyes what you would do. So here, when you go to the cut page, I would probably flip this over. So now when I'm cutting the white, the eyes are just, you know, 3.3 3 by 3.7. So you can use scrap for that. The shoes I would, depends on the scrap pieces that you have, but I would use scrap to cut the white. Okay, let's see what else we have. Anything else? They're just little pieces. You know, you gotta slice this out because you don't wanna waste a piece of 8.4 by 2.5 when this space right here, we don't need it, right? So if you slice it, then you can um, do like the white, put flip this one over on top, and it ends up being like a three by three or something. Okay, so I'm gonna move all that out. I'm gonna show you now how to do the big piece. So let's just move all this stuff out of the way. 
Um, and I'm going to make it really clean. I'm going to move, I'm going to grab it like this and move it all the way over. Okay, so here's our girl. She's 30 inches by 18. So we're going to need two columns because we're going to use um, 12 by 12 cardstock. So I'm going to make this cardstock just 11 by 11. So we're going to need two rows because two rows would be 22 inches across or two columns. And then we're going to need three rows for the 30 inches, right? So we're basically making six squares. Um, so let's put this first square right here and we're going to go and use our position feature. So basically this is our X coordinate is the one going across and our Y coordinate is going up and down. So right here, we're going to get started. We're going to go over here and just round to the nearest whole number. So 23.1 becomes 23. 2.6 becomes 3. So basically we're telling design space, go over 23 spots, go down three, 3 spots, and here's the tip of our square. And the reason why we're doing this, you want to duplicate this, put this one close to this, is we want to make 6 squares completely flushed. You don't want them to um, overlap and you don't want any gaps. <clears throat> because we want the six pieces, our six puzzle pieces of this background to go right up and be flushed so that the seams won't show. We're minimizing the seams as much as possible. Okay, so if you put this one close enough to this one, this square, then you don't need to do any math. You can just round to the nearest whole number. So 34.2 becomes 34, 3.056 becomes 3. But if you wanted to do the math, this first one is at 23, right? 23 plus 11 is 34, and this is at 34, right? Okay, so now we don't have to do anymore. We can hit shift, grab both squares, and duplicate, because these two we already know are flushed. <clears throat> so if you put it close enough to this one, we'll make this set flush with the one above. So 23.05 becomes 23, 14.2 becomes 14. And duplicate another set right here. And that's already at 23, 25.11 becomes 25. So now we have six flush squares, okay? Go over to your right-hand side panel and let's grab her, arrange, send to the front. Before we actually slice, we wanna make sure that we're not slicing off any small pieces. And what I mean by that is, I'm gonna zoom in so you can really see. What we don't want right here is this. I think this, oh no, it's okay because oh, it's tight. I don't want this triangle to be off by itself. So we'll take a look at that. But I don't like this. The fingers right here are going to be cut off. So let's zoom out for a second. We have space and this finger is going to be by itself. You don't want to have, you don't want to tape small pieces together. You want to tape six big pieces together. Okay. So let's move her down a little bit. So you see this square right here is one big chunk. It's her arm, her dress, and her shoe. This side, it's all together. Let's look at the hair. This piece right here is one big piece as well as this. So this is a much better cut. This is going to be six big pieces that are going to be easy to keep track of and easy to push up against each other and tape together. And I hope that makes sense. Okay. All right. So let's slice one piece at a time. So one square with the image. We're just going to go all the way around and slice. Oops. Sorry. I don't know why it's not grabbing. Okay. I'm going to go from here. Grab this and slice. Okay, now that all the six pieces are separated, I do like to kind of keep them in order because when you go and take this off the mat, when you're cutting it, it's just nice to know when you see this piece, it goes in the middle. It should be obvious, but I kid you not, sometimes I take it off the mat, I accidentally flip it around on the back side, and then I'm spending minutes trying to figure this out. So it's just easier to keep it like this. Delete all of this. And we're done. So you have six big pieces 
Everything else is seamless. It's going to sit on top. So where you're going to see the seams is a little bit right here, a little bit right here, but everything else sits on top. So you won't see any of the other pieces, maybe a little bit here. So you can see why when I say even at 30 inches, she's probably only going to be showing a total of one inch in seams. And it's going to look amazing because everything else, the colors are going to be so bright. Um, no one's going to notice the little black seams. It, I promise you it's tiny. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Let me know if you have any comments or questions or if you have any specific projects that you would like me to help with. Okay. Bye.